Hi guys, guys. Welcome, welcome to, to NYC. NYC. And tonight we're headed up to Harlem. That's right, Harlem. I think this is our first speakeasy there, yeah? I think so, yeah. There's another one I can think of that's up there, but um, we haven't been to it. There's yeah. two actually, I think, of, and we're going to one tonight. And it's called Sugar Monk. Not to be confused with Sugar East. We had a recent uh, episode there. But Sugar Monk is actually pays homage to one of, uh, well, basically it pays homage to the speakeasies of Harlem's past. So I'm really excited. It's going to be, I think, an eccentric, um, eccentric, uh, cool mixology experience. Yeah, it does. It does look really cool. Um, I was just laughing because Laura said we have it. We've had an episode there, like something went wrong. Oh, like an episode of NYC. I was like, trying. why is he laughing? We um, did go there. I'm not. But yeah, it. Uh, it does look really cool. Uh, there's another one up there that's uh, something something Orange Street that I also can't remember. But I've been there. I haven't been to this one. Um, it looks really good. It is pretty hidden. I mean, there's like everything is kind of blacked out in terms of the window, so. There's not a lot of hints that, that you're there. I think there's a little M, uh, SM uh, up in the, like, at the very top, but, but that's about it, the initials. So, um, and it looks really cool inside. The drinks look amazing. We're excited. Next one on the list, let's check it out. Let's do it. See you there. Patchouli in it, and you taste it at the very end. It's like this lingering herbal flavor in your mouth that's really unique. I don't think I've really had a drink like that with patchouli in it. So, you sometimes you have it in like colognes or perfumes, so it's really interesting to have it in a drink. Uh, awesome stuff. All right. <laughs> I didn't say it all right. I didn't say it too much. Anyway, uh, I'll say we're back too much, and 
<laughs> anyway. We don't have to say all yeah. the phrases. We're um, back after another successful exactly. night. Exactly, that's the other all thing. All in all. Yeah. All in all. I need some new phrases. It was a great night. I'll have to do some Googling. Anyway, <clears throat> um, we had a good night. <laughs> uh, we went to Sugar Monk, which is a, actually a, a relatively new place. It just opened in, I think, June or July 2019. Which makes sense because it wasn't on my original list where I went through it. all the like speeds and whatnot and created a master New York City list, which I have. It, there's a lot on there. Sugar Monk was not on there because this was this opened after I did it, <clears throat> and um, it was great. The uh, it's a tiny, not tiny, but uh, definitely a small place. It's very cozy. Mm -hmm. um, you have to ring a bell to get in. Uh, so, and going with the speakeasy vibe, and it's pretty much unmarked on the outside, like I said, it just says uh, SM, um, but it's all kind of, you can't see anything through the windows or whatnot. And it's very, uh, it's nice, it's uh, dimly lit, of course, a yeah, beautiful bar with a lot of glass shel shelving. Um, we each got two drinks, and they were all really good. Uh, my, probably the coolest one in terms of presentation was the first one that I got, which mm. was, uh, they lit the rosemary uh, on fire with the blue torch, so you, which you saw. And um, yeah, they were all really good. And cool names too, like um, Between the Devil and Deep Blue Sea was, was one of the ones I got, which was, which was a fun name. And um, yeah, we had an amazing uh, uh, waitress uh, who was super friendly and and very helpful with choosing drinks because they have quite the menu. Some 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 speakeasies or cocktail bars have like one page of drinks. They have like maybe five to ten that they that they have, and that's all you can choose from. But they they uh, really specialize in five to ten, which is fine. This place is different where they have like probably like fifty drinks, so you have a of ton course. of selection. So it takes a while to go through. Um, yeah. But yeah, and. Um, I don't know what it was. Well, yeah, so my two drinks were, so I ordered the Queen of the Desert, which was spicy. So it was interesting because when, when she first came by and our waitress Very was spicy. excellent, as Mike mentioned, um, she asked for our flavor, the flavors that we wanted. And then based off of that, she <clears> recommended <throat> specific drinks. So when I described the flavors I was going for, she, there was really just one drink that she recommended. And she recommended yeah. three to Mike. So. Anyway, so I picked this particular <coughs> drink, and it was good. It was very spicy, though. Yes. Um, I'll say it had habanero pepper mm -hmm. in there. And then my next drink was, I think it was called a Thessalonius, <coughs> and it was really delicious. Mm -hmm. It had, um, I think, lemon and not honeysuckle. Yeah, but yeah, lemon. I liked, yeah. Yeah, I liked that drink probably a little bit better, but they were both really good. I think Mike definitely picked yeah. the best this this time. Which is rare because usually the ones Laura get are, are the fan favorites for the two of us. But uh, yeah, mo both of mine were really good. And we had a great time. Um, they're clearly doing something where we, we talked to the owner uh, who was also super nice. He was there um, making sure everything was going uh, according to plan and um, clearly doing something right because they've been open for uh, what half a year and they have basically almost, I think, perfect five stars on Yelp. Rating. So, uh, if you look at all the speakeasies in New York, speakeasies in New York City, it on um, Yelp, I think it's currently ranking somewhere in the 20s, maybe 21, out of all of them, which is amazing for a place that just opened um, it is. in the last six months. So yeah, because all really, of these places have been around for years. Exactly. Yeah. So they're definitely doing something right, and we agree. We had a great time, and uh, with that, we're gonna head to bed. It's late. It's a late night. Head to bed and we will catch you in the next one. See you next time. Bye guys.